solution to the no devices connected on Bluetooth audio for a Nissan. Uh, this has been an ongoing issue. I've had a few Nissan Frontier vehicles and they don't like to connect the Bluetooth. It's completely random. Uh, it doesn't seem to connect consistently at all. So here's the solution. Uh, basically all you need to do is come over here and that's not a great solution but you turn it off you turn the vehicle back into the on position and then you start your vehicle and typically pretty quickly the Bluetooth will connect but apparently not today. Nope, there it goes. All right, so it's connecting, and actually I've got another Bluetooth device, so it's not catching my phone, but uh, if you go ahead and uh, just do that. The unfortunate thing is this is really hard on your starter because you're having to start your car multiple times as opposed to being able to just hop in, turn the key, and it goes. But it seems that this has been an ongoing problem with Nissan vehicles. Uh, this is actually a rental vehicle for me. If I was keeping one, I would just tear this radio out and I'd get an aftermarket unit that actually works every time so you're not having to burn up your starter. You can get a good one for 100, 200 bucks. Uh, it's got a nice display on it and it's probably going to be a higher power unit. It's just not going to be your factory unit, um, but you'll be able to hook in backup cameras and everything. So anyway, there you go. That's how you get your Bluetooth to work. It's the only thing that I have found that makes it work. Uh, there supposedly is some options where you can hit different buttons on the radio. It doesn't seem to work in these newer vehicles. So uh, go ahead and give that a try and hopefully you can get your Bluetooth working.